Hi, I want to show you how to use the Facebook profit model, which is a quick and easy way to use forecast for time series data. Um, I love the visual here because it allows us to see the confidence intervals and the actual data. The first thing I would want to do is make sure that you have the Facebook profit library installed. If you don't, install that first. So let's get started. We're going to be using a Google Analytics data set that has sessions and we're going to code this from the beginning. So let's open up a new notebook and let's get started. So I'm going to import my dependencies, import pandas as PD. And then I'm going to bring in the profit library. So from FB profit and port profit and then I'm going to also bring in um, a matplotlib let's bring in our data which is in an Excel we're going to use the pandas read Excel function to bring in our data I'm just going to copy in the path it's easier and then we need to specify the sheet name. And I also want to parse my dates so we can have that data type in. And let's take a look at the head of that data. Um, Okay, so we have our uh, date index, which is called day index, and then we have our user sessions. Um, before we do anything, let's take a quick look at the tail, because what happens with Google Analytics, sometimes they uh, sum up the column, and they did here. So let's just create a quick slice. And we know we have 30 rows so I just want to slice that using iLock and then we'll start at the beginning oops start at the beginning and then go all the way to 30 but because it doesn't include the 30th row it's everything in between here so 1 through 30 um, and we can look at the info to validate Great, we have our range, we have our 30, 30 uh, entries, and we are all good, 0 to 29, so we don't include that 30 in the tail. So let's call our profit model, and I'm just going to use model as a, as a variable, and I'm going to call the, the profit, profit model. And now that that model, now that that model is called, um, there are some very specific variables that you have to use for the profit model and these are hard coded so we need to change our data set to ensure that we have the right column names now in, in profit they use DS for date and Y for the prediction column so in ours we have we have D, uh, day index and we have users so we need to change that so let's just change the co columns to a list and we're going to call it DS for our day and Y. Now we can take a quick look and we have changed the column names. And we would normally do a train test and split, but we only have 30 lines. So I'm going to fit the whole data frame to our model so I'm gonna do model dot fit and I'm gonna pass in that whole data frame and then I want to bring your attention to some warnings well not information warnings so you can see that what has happened here it's disabled our seasonality for yearly because we only have a very small data set you can change that over to true if you like there are tons of different variables there and it's also disabling um, 
the daily seasonality because we haven't specified that either and let me just go and show you what's in all the different variables that can be customized so you can see that we can customize growth we can add holidays seasonality we can uh, talk about the, the seasonality mode which is additive or multiplicative um, so there's a ton of customization that can be done here but let's leave it at default for right now and the next step now that we have our model we want to be able to forecast into the future and for profit we need to give it a data frame to forecast against so if I call model and I choose tab we can create a future data frame we we'll call make future data frame now in this I'm gonna hit shift tab the requirements are the periods and the frequency we know we're at a daily frequency so those are the essentials so let's use periods and I want to forecast into another 30 days and then I want to set the frequency to day and I also want to save this as under the variable let's call it future and let's look at the tail of that just to make sure we are 30 days out into the future we started on July let's see we started at the last part of this would be uh, July 15th 2020 and if we look at the tail here we're all the way out to August 20 August 14th so this is exactly what we're looking for now that we have our data frame to forecast against we can use the model to create a forecast so I'm going to create a forecast variable and I'm just going to say model dot predict and then I'm going to pass in our data frame which we call future takes a minute and you can see that we have a host of different columns that are all useful for evaluating our model but I just want to create a quick visualization that allows us to see this so I'm only concerned with our confidence interval which is the y hat lower and upper and our prediction which is the actual y hat over there in the corner and our date so I'm going to just go and bring out all the columns and then I'm going to specify which columns I want and, and do that with by passing that list there and I want the date which is saved as DS and I want Y hat upper and lower to create my confidence variable and then I want the actual prediction there now that we've specified that I can just use forecast in my model to plot and then the model and profit has a plotting feature so all we need to do now is pass it in our modified data frame and you will get two of these sometime and the easy way to eliminate that is just to add a semicolon and now we can see this visual which gives us the trend the actual numbers the prediction and the confidence interval so that's just a quick and easy way to use the profit model um, we can customize this in many different ways I hope this helps thank you